when the city goes to sleep and you lie sleepless in the night, your slumber disturbed, I tell you, it is the silence you hear, the silence you fear, the silence that waits for you tonight. Silence is trying all your locks and creeping in like the cold through your mental windows. You have silence is calling across the living room floor. You have the silence is climbing the bedroom stairs. You have the right to silence is throwing back the bedroom covers. You have the right to remain silence is seeping into your lungs with every inhalation. And you have the right to remain silent. You see, it doesn't matter anymore who you are or where you are from. There's always someone perfectly willing to tell you that you have the right to remain silent. What they will never say is that you also have the right to speak the word, so speak the word. I spoke the word so often till I became one with the we who was, is, and always will be the word. And now I remember. I remember that we remember when Atlantis sank into the ocean, parents saving their prized possessions while throwing their children into the sea, while the world's finest library sank into the deep. In over centuries, scrolls containing the souls of a millennium of poets bled us as the paper rotted into clay. We nearly died in those days, but the clay remembered us when Egyptians using stylus as pen wrote to foul Isis brought us back. They called us Osiris then, for she knew that after worship of the Egyptian gods fell, it was we who'd remember their story to for we are the word, the youngest of the mortal gods, yet still outliving Zeus, Aten, Poseidon, and Magog. And it is only because poets have bled us from their pens that you remember them. And now I remember that we remember when slavers owned the word nigger. Until niggers became black men risking life and limb to worship us secretly, they resurrected us beautifully by writing our names in the dust, by using sticks in the dirt as pens to learn the alphabet, by writing it in the mud. And they freed themselves the day they learned the definition of the word slave. And they realized that the slave name did not define any of us. They realized that the the define, defy, define is when they write what's on their minds. Not only minds that can define themselves can conquer time, becoming one with the we who is and always will be the word. So speak the word, you who are disturbed by that night silence. Speak the word, you who in your quiet rage is driven towards violence. Speak the word, mother, daughter, friend, lover. Speak the word, poet, prophet, beggar, father. Speak the word and dare to walk this path to power. Not even the far-flung stars can travel. Speak the word. Come and conquer time with me. Speak the word, let the silence run in fear. <laughs>